this is the reason it's uh, a good idea to just uh, <laughs> double check with a blood test um, after exercise when using the Libra. 5.3, so it says 8.7 going down. Um, literally about a minute ago when I was actually on the run, <coughs> it's a 9.8 in level, so yeah, um, very important to take that into account when uh, doing exercise. Whew. Well, ladies and gents, apologies about the sweatiness. Uh, I just got back from an hour and 13 minutes run. Uh, just another quick update to show that uh, the difference between the Freestyle Libra and a blood test um, after exercise and something to be very aware of. Um, so according to the uh, Libra, 9.1, arrow directly down, just on a blood test. There you are, 4.4. Um, so the very bottom of the range that we should be at. Uh, halfway through my run, about 35 minutes in, uh, the Libra was spot on. It said I was 11.9 and rising, and when I came back and did the blood test, I was 11.7. So I injected a unit and a half of Nova Rapid straight into my thigh. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it was an intramuscular shot or not, but uh, I feel like it probably was. Um, like the needle is only 4mm uh, long, so I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that uh, certainly kicked in. <laughs> during the rest of the 40 minutes of the run and uh, yeah I'm going to have to keep an eye on my blood sugar now but yeah something to be aware of if you do exercise and use the Freestyle Libra it can be quite significantly, significantly out uh, especially if you've got insulin on board um, so yeah just uh, one to be aware of and yeah um, that'll be it for now I think <laughs> see you in the next one just a quick update uh, about 15 minutes later and it says 4.7 uh, going low so um, it's just a case of being aware of the difference for that sort of short period of time so it is pretty accurate the Libra and um, very happy with it overall but yeah just uh, something to be aware of within that sort of short time frame after uh, exercise or doing anything else that uh, causes rapid blood sugar change it can be quite inaccurate so yeah just thought it might be of some interest to some people and hopefully this helps so yeah see you soon all right, ladies and gents, uh, apologies for repeating myself a little bit during these clips. I didn't really plan them out very well. I just sort of went with it as I, as I went along, basically. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I don't want to bash uh, the Libra at all. Um, I actually think it's a, an incredibly useful tool, and I wish it was available on the NHS. Uh, unfortunately, I'm having to pay through the nose um, for it at the moment, but hopefully we'll get it on the NHS uh, for all areas eventually. But anyway, for... Uh, this video, I just wanted to say it's an incredibly useful tool. Uh, it's kind of like uh, discovering the wheel. <laughs> That's how I think about it. But um, it does have its faults, and that is when blood sugar is rapidly changing, um, such as from exercise. So there are certain situations when it's important to do an actual blood test, and um, when the Freestyle Libra is maybe not quite as reliable. Um, but as I showed in that clip, it didn't take long for it to catch up with the actual blood sugar reading. It's just within that sort of short time window when it was quite significantly out um, but yeah to summarize I really like the Libra I think it's fantastic it just has a, a couple of little niggles um, when the blood sugar is rapidly changing but yeah hopefully you find this useful and um, yeah see you in the next one